Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 11 of exercise 7.10. Some properties of definite integrals and let's get started. So let's consider our integral as i is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and this is sine squared x into dx. Okay. Now this properties of the form negative a to a so we are going to check our function whether it's even and even or odd so let's say our function is f of x which is sine square x and now it's f of minus x so this should be sine square negative x and i can write it as negative of sine x the whole square which is equal to again the sine square x that is f of x so in this case f of x is equal to f of negative x so therefore our function is even function which means i can write it as 2 into the chain the limit 0 to a so now my function is 2 into 0 to a, a is pi by 2, so it's 2 pi by 2 and the function remains as it is sine square x into dx. Okay, now because one of the limit is 0, I can easily integrate this using the golden formula. We know that cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sine square x and I get from here 2 sine square x so I can get 2 sine square x I can write it at 1 minus cos 2x which gives me sine square x as it's 1 minus 2x by 2 so this is 2 into integration of 1 minus cos 2x by 2 and uh, it's dx with limits 0 to pi by 2 okay 2 can be taken out and this 2 and 2 gets cancelled so it's integration of 1 is x and integration of cos is sine 2 x by 2 and this has to be added for the limits pi to z because pi by 2 to 0 so let's get it evaluated so this is x is pi by 2 minus sine 2 into pi by 2 upon 2 minus x is 0 this is 0 minus 0 okay so this is 0 so this gets cancelled and i is equal to pi by 2 sine sine pi is 0 so it's pi by 2 and this is 0 so our answer is pi by 2 for question number 11 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching